think it's a, a vital game today. If we win, we've got a chance to play off. So if we lose, then it's possibly the end of the season. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's going to be a crunch playoff game. Um, you win this one, you sort of hope the playoffs. So I think otherwise, yeah, you know, probably settle for yeah, seven or eight. I think, really. What sort of test do you think Coventry will provide? Do you think it'll be a tough one? Obviously, a couple of positions yeah, above Norwich. Yeah, it's going to be a tough game today. They're obviously doing well. They've won most of the last few games, I think, haven't they? They have. I'm beaten in five. So, yeah, we, yeah we've got, got to work at that today. Yeah, I mean, they're playing well. Got a good manager. Um, obviously, yeah, familiar names. Yeah. So, I, I think um, yeah, it will be uh, do well to keep them out. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I think it'll be a high-scoring draw. Yeah, yeah, I can remember him playing for us in <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said a loss might might mean the end of a sort of the, the playoff dream. Would you so. take a point? Yeah, yeah, I think so. It's uh, we've got to beat, win this one and then beat Watford, and then we'll see whether we've got a, a realistic chance. I think. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. the uh, the transfer window closed on Thursday. What did you make of sort of the business overall in January? I think it would have been nice to have seen a, uh, maybe somebody new in defence, but yeah. I look forward to seeing a new attacker. I'm not going to try and pronounce his name. I get that <laughs> wrong. <laughs> yeah. Sorry to see Ida go. I liked him, but. Yeah. I can see why he wanted to have a change of scene. Yeah, yeah. yeah I agree with that. I've seen either go. He's obviously been around for a couple of years now and he's um, well off the bench. Probably unfortunate to get more starts. Yeah. But um, yeah, yeah, probably the fact of the whole transfer window, just a bit quiet really. But yeah, um, yeah. got this new, a new face, so yeah. we'll see how we do. Yeah. Yeah. Can I have a couple of score predictions for today's game? It's all I, went, yeah. I think, yeah, I think uh, 2 1 Norwich. Yeah, I think today optimistic, you know. Yeah. 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 If, uh, Got the new striker. Hopefully, we'll see him today. Yeah. And sort of having a little bit of a watch on YouTube, see how he's settling <laughs> yeah. in and stuff, you know. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you know, hopefully, he's top of tree, decent run at the moment. I think, you know, yeah. Leicester they beat only a couple of weeks ago. You know, they're flying high at the top. So, you know, we showed some really good glimpses, West Brom, yeah. and then uh, again Liverpool. You know, little sparks of it. So, hopefully, we're on the right track. No injury free yeah. for a lot of the players. So, yeah, fingers crossed. We're coming back strong and. You know, maybe playoff contention. Yeah. I'm not too sure, but you know we've got to be optimistic. I think as Norwich fans, and yeah. we have a roller coaster of a season, don't we? Yeah. so uh, we yeah. get to experience all the emotions. So yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah, good yeah. results today. I could probably say we're probably uh, maybe sneak a two-one. I think today. So. Good stuff. Yeah. Do you think it's a must-not lose today? I, I think yeah. I think we've got we've got to stay optimistic at it. Um, you know, it's it's one of them that. If we don't start putting the performances in now, we're going to start slipping down the table. And when you start slipping down the table, it's hard to come back from that. Yeah. And the, the championship is a, is a league that anybody can win any game. So it's, yeah. it's vital that we get the points when, when we can. No, definitely. You mentioned the, the new striker. What did you make of, sort of the transfer business overall now January's ended? I think we've left it very late to see sort of two players go um, and only one come in. You know, maybe the badge has got some plans as such, but you know, you just hope that have the trust in the board and that, that they've made the right silence yeah. and you know we have been a little bit shall we say shy in some occasions we've been front of goal so you know providing we give them the uh, the service hopefully he'll finish and yeah we'll go home happy today for three points so yeah. definitely you said 2-1 what do you reckon for the score yeah I'm going to go 2-1 as well yeah good stuff who's going to score uh, hopefully Sargent will yeah. get a goal <laughs> yeah. and yeah. then you know if we get Van Hoydog on the score in this <laughs> first game you know hopefully yeah. send some shockwaves around <laughs> Well, it's a pretty big game for yeah. us, isn't it? It's going to be it's going to be uh, a tough one, but obviously, if we do get three points, it gives us a bit of momentum uh, yeah. going forward. Yeah. What do you make of uh, Coventry? It seems like maybe a, a bit of a difficult test. Obviously, a couple of places above Norwich, but they've done decently against sort of teams around them in, in the last few weeks, haven't they? Yeah, I, I went to the away game. I thought Coventry were pretty good that, yeah. that day, and they um, gave us a bit of a battering in the, in the second half, particularly. Um, Mark Robbins always seems to get good sides together playing decent football. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, I, the thing about the championship is anybody can beat anybody on a given day. You know, at home, uh, with a bit of a decent run behind us, I would, I would still fancy us to win. But uh, I just hope we're positive. I just hope we go out and play attacking football like yeah. we did against West Brom. Do you think it's a must not lose? Uh, I think in terms of the playoffs, almost yeah. certainly, yeah. Um, a lot of the sides around us have, have strengthened in the window, whereas obviously, you know, we're, we've had five players go out and just one come in. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think we do need to win today. And obviously, you're both here with the, the Canaries Trust and pushing the, the pledge ball idea today. Can you tell us a little bit about that and where maybe people can find you? We're, we're 
it's the Green Football Weekend this weekend, so we're working with pledgeball.org. People can go onto that website, make a pledge, find Norwich City, click on Norwich City, and then pledge to do carbon savings. Yeah. Things like eat a vegan meal once a week, um, reduce shower time to four minutes, uh, put the heating on down to 18 degrees, little things like that. All those little things add up to, to huge carbon savings. So we've actually got lap, um, laptops and iPads from the club today to help people sign up to Pledgeborn and get Norwich City up the league. So there is a green football league and currently we're languishing in seventh behind <laughs> teams like Forest Green Rovers, okay, yeah. Northampton, Chelsea, Manchester United. So we want to push up the league. Definitely. Can I have a couple of score predictions for today's game? 2-1 City. 2-0 City. It was a really, really exciting game. I really enjoyed the first half. I thought we played really, really well. Yeah. Um, the start of the second half was obviously not what we wanted it to be, but then as soon as the, the red card happened, I feel like the, the shift of the momentum really changed. Yeah. Was there any worry for you after that red card that Norwich wouldn't get the goal, or did it feel inevitable? No, I think we kept putting the pressure on, so I feel like after the red card, I feel like we was guaranteed to score, really. Like, yeah. With the pressure we was putting on. Yeah, definitely. Do you think Norwich got the result they deserved overall? It felt like they were probably the better team, didn't it? Yeah, I feel like we, we were all over them pretty much all of the game. And I, I, I they had opportunities on the break. Obviously, O'Hare looked really good. Obviously, yeah. he was linked with a lot of clubs in January. Um, but I felt like we dealt with him pretty well. And I, I felt like there was a lot of passion in our performance today. Yeah. Were there any individual performances that especially pleased or disappointed you? I think Barnes. Yeah, Barnes really, really good, impressed me. I think he come on, he changed the whole game for me. Yeah. Definitely Barnes. Yeah. He looks like a different player alongside Sargent, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, he really impressed me. Really. Yeah. And obviously Sargent got the, the goal that got Norwich back in the game. How important is he now that he's back and flowing? He, he's, he was a big miss, weren't he? Yeah. On, he was really, we did need him. He, he's crucial to our, our chances on top six and I feel like um, I think Sydney, he, when he came on as well, he, there's yeah. lots of potential there. So he won that free kick right at the end. Yeah. He looks like an absolute unit, so I think that's a very good signing. So yeah. I think it's potentially exciting. Like obviously, this was a must-win game, it felt like, so I think now we can kick on. Yeah, you mentioned the top six. What are the chances of Norwich getting in there, do you think? I think if we can show consistency, then I think we, we've still got one of the best, better squads on paper. In, in the league, so I, I really feel the opportunity is there to be taken. Let's just hope we take it. What about you? Do you have faith that Norwich can can get in there? I think if we can stay consistent, I think we'll we'll finish sixth. I think we'll just sneak in. But we, who knows? It's foot, you don't know. If we're really good. Then we were average. Then we were rubbish. Then we were really good again. Yes. Yeah. Right, it seems to take. Seem to take the sending off to give us the confidence to really like yeah, properly yeah. push on at them. But um, once we dipped, I thought we were by far the better team and fully deserved three points. Really good win. Hopefully, confidence carries on into next week. Yeah, definitely. Were you, were you ever worried after that red card that Norwich might not get the winning goal? Yeah, always. <laughs> yeah, every time. But um, but yeah, we sort of we see, like we're saying, we seem to have the player who can like turn that bit of magic and use that little bit of extra space to yeah. to to create something good. So yeah. We're all right today, weren't we? Yeah, we're yeah. Right. three points onto yeah. the playoffs. As you said, it wasn't entirely consistent, but were you pleased with the performance levels, sort of generally over the piece? Yeah, I thought so. Like I said, I think I think it's a bit, it's still a bit of a confidence issue, um, but we seem to get better during the game. And yeah, I thought, I thought we played generally pretty well. I thought we were the better side for most of the game, apart yeah. from maybe the first sort of 15 minutes of the, of the second half. Um, yeah. Were there, any, were there any sort of individual performances that impressed you or disappointed you? I thought Sarge was fantastic. Um, yeah, it's really, really good to have him back. He just leads the line so well. I thought Saints was really good, especially yeah. especially in the second half when he just sort of pushed us on. Um, I, d I didn't think anyone had a particularly bad game. Duffy was a bit shaky in the first half, but seemed to recover. Um, but yeah, I thought, I, I thought all of them did themselves proud. Angus Gunn made a couple of really important yeah. saves as well when it was when we were 1-0 down, which could have sort of finished the game. So yeah. yeah, props to him as so. well. What was the moment like when that goal went in? Yeah, we realised we're in the we're in the upper Barclay, so oh, not nice. right in the big bit, but it's right in front of us. And yeah, it was it, it was in all the way. As soon as he hit it, you just knew it was hit in the back of the net. So yeah, it's a, a nice moment. You mentioned the uh, the playoffs. Is this team definitely good enough to, to get up there? Uh, 
I mean, this this league seems to have so many inconsistent teams in it, and it's whoever puts together a run of like six or seven yeah. wins will yeah. get there. Um, I think we're probably as capable as anyone in that little group. I wouldn't say we're particularly like, we're definitely not good enough to trouble the top three or four, but we can definitely sneak into the top six if we can put that run together. And it's just taking the confidence from today forward and hopefully, uh, hopefully getting there. Fantastic game, to be fair. It was pretty... The second half was a lot better than the first half. And I think the sending off obviously made a difference. Yeah. But Arguably, I'm... we were better against uh, 11 men than 10 men, I'd say. <laughs> yeah. Did you, so, yeah. did you have any worries that Norwich wouldn't find that goal after the red card or did it feel inevitable? Uh, I, I was worried. Yeah. Um, you are say. rather pessimistic. <laughs> well, I must say. Years of experience. <laughs> yeah, no, years of following Norwich City. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Were there any individual performances that sort of pleased yeah. you or disappointed yeah, you today? Science was very good Science today. Was very, Nunes was very I good thought, today yeah, as well. Yeah, Nunes, Nunes went off. This yeah, I was surprised when Nunes went off. Mate. He was probably my uh, man of the match in yeah. the first half, arguably. Yeah. Yeah. So when he went off, I was very shocked. Yeah, I've got to say. So what do you make of things sort of generally? Do you think Norwich have enough to get into the top six? Uh, we, we have the squad to do it. But uh, uh, we, let's see what Van Hooydonk does brings yeah, to us. Yeah. <laughs> In, yeah, in terms yeah, obviously of obviously three minutes of today is not enough. Yeah, it's though. difficult to judge, isn't it? Yeah. Very difficult yeah. to judge. But in terms of the sort of performance, I think although the results have been good, they've been criticised quite a lot. But the performance today felt like it was a, a step in the it right direction. It was a step, step in the right direction. Yeah. I think we were far more positive. Today, yeah. So. If you yeah. keep winning, then you're going to end up in and around it. So hit a good run at the right time, and there's no reason why we can't be there. Yeah. Uh, Definitely. Norwich Actually fans not. seem to be uh, enjoying Ipswich's downfall in recent weeks well, yeah, as well. They, they, they lost today. Always, always a bit of a worry when they go 3-2 uh, yeah, yeah. in, in an 89th minute or yeah. whatever it was. Yeah. But yeah. We're, yeah, we're, we're positive and say that yeah. Norwich, were, Norwich won. We don't care about Ipswich. No, exactly. Yeah.